Hello everybody, back to another quick video. I've inadvertently found ourselves in some woodland. Um, actually on route to Robin Hood Stride, could take a wander around there. Uh, but as normal, high winds and the heavens have opened. So we sort of took a bit of shelter in the woods and we found quite a bit. It's quite pretty in here. Um, it's best way to describe it, it's proper wild woodland. Um, it's just off the beaten track that takes you down to Robin Hood Stride. So yeah, we've sort of taken the opportunity to uh, have a wander in while it's uh, having a bit of a drizzle out there. And uh, I'm going to take a few shots, so come on with us. Obviously, because we're in quite dense woodland and it's raining up above, the light isn't fantastic, so it is quite dark. It'd be a good test for the OM ones low light handling, see what uh, the high SOs come out like. I've uh, just brought this tree behind me and it looks absolutely brilliant. I've got a real sort of feel about what the uh, image is going to look like when I take it. Um, I'm thinking very sort of dark, moody sort of feel to the uh, the image. So we'll see what that comes out like. I'll put that up now for you. It does seem to be very much a case of a mix of trees. There's some, some oak, some ash, and this one behind me is just surrounded by uh, what looks like sort of much newer growth. I think it has been planted out at some point in the past. Uh, but this one here is fantastic. It's got a real sort of old world look to it. Uh, that's the sort of thing I'm going to go for on the shot. So I'm going to bring that sort of depth to it and sort of you know, try and tell a story about how old it is but obviously you've got the, uh, the other stuff around it, so we'll take a shot, pop that up now for you. And one thing we have now as well, we're absolutely surrounded with birdsong, uh, a few wrens, and I think we've seen a couple of song thrushes floating around as well. We can sit here and in the background, uh, but yeah, it's lovely being up here. Um, the rain's just starting to pass over a little bit now so the wind's dying down a little bit and there's so much life in the woodland definitely you yeah, out and about sort of, yeah it does start to rain get yourself into a bit of woodland if there's some around yeah well obviously if you've got permission to do so it's not sort of private land but get in there and sort of just spend some time looking around and listen to the bird song and just see what's around there obviously yeah, the trees are fantastic, but look down below as well. There's so much on the forest floor that you can find. Uh, some absolutely amazing little compositions if you look for them. There's one just down here now, I'll show you that. So all around this area, little pine cones. And they've dropped off some of the local trees. And they give some really nice sort of compositions down on the forest floor where they've actually just landed. And it's completely natural the way things are but all the patterns that form around it just give some lovely effects and the composition all around here and I'll pop a couple up now they've just taken but yeah if you're sort of in an area you're not really seeing too much actually in the trees look down it's amazing what you find on the on the actual woodland floor <music> Just behind me on the ground here, it's a tree that I'm not entirely sure what's happened to it, but it's here to split into two right from the root. Um, it's one of those things where it looks astounding, but there's no way to actually pull a composition from it. It's a real shame because that could give you some amazing results, and just the possibilities are endless if you can get the composition right, but there's just no where because the woods that dense just gets sort of 
in place to actually get something lined up. It's a bit of a shame, but yeah, what a fantastic thing to see though. been in this section of woods previously um, that's the last autumn time so we know the colours etc do come out fantastic in the autumn and we probably will be back as well just to uh, take another look a bit later in the year um, but at the moment everything's sort of very green quite a lot of nettles and things like that in there so compositions really aren't coming forward but there's some great trees back there uh, but that sort of thing if you find somewhere like this and you think no nah, might look good right in here keep an eye out of it it's well worth coming back to. There's always things happens when you're out and about. The light's about four or five fields that way. Not where we want to be here. But yeah, looks like at least the uh, the weather sort of improved a bit. Uh, still very grey though and incredibly windy. Uh, so obviously the bits and bobs out here probably be more snapshots than anything else. Um, certainly nothing portfolio worthy today I don't think but there's that tree just in the background there uh, I think that's it. I can get a bit of a composition up on it um, I've tried it before I mean, sort of the autumn time and it's quite nice but you know, a few leaves on it uh, might be able to do something with it but it's great because it actually grows out of the rock so it's got a little bit of a feature to it and uh, yeah I'll see what I can do so because the conditions aren't great what I've actually done is drop down quite low so I'm shooting up and try and get sort of the tree into the third and it's actually just sky I'm going to see if I bring some of that uh, cloud detail back in in post um, it's one of those typical days it was a fantastic morning didn't look too bad and there was some bank of weather that came across and essentially it sort of ditched the light for us unfortunately well it all seems to be a few miles over there but uh, yeah so hopefully the clouds will uh, up and we'll get a bit of a uh, bit of feel from those it's about the best we can do i think for today Quick visit up to Robin Hood Stride, completely ruined by the weather essentially, but it gave us a great view in some fantastic woodland, which I think we'll actually come back and sort of explore there a bit later in the year again as well. Uh, some really nice sort of light catching the hills over in the background. Uh, well, unfortunately, yeah, you can't really do much with it, but you know, not every trip's a successful trip. Yeah, you know, Generally you go out, you expect to find something, but occasionally you just don't get anything particularly at all. Uh, but yeah, that's the way of it. A lot of YouTubers, you know, sort of the portray the uh, every trip out is a perfect trip and you've got yeah, brilliant light as soon as you turn up. Yeah, reality is not really like that. But yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed a little uh, wander around the woodland though and a couple of the bits and bobs that we spotted out and about. So we've got Robin Hood Stride just in the background there. Um, surprisingly not very busy but I think the weather's actually put quite a few other climbers off today but uh, yeah we'll leave it there for today I think but if you enjoyed the video please do give it a thumbs up it really helps the channel out so if you're not subscribed drop subscribing it doesn't cost you a penny helps me out no end but as always thanks for watching and we'll see you again on the next one